Hey guys, it's Colin here, DJ Kosher. I'm the founding owner of Kosher Recording Studios and uh, one of the producers here. We're going to do a video today just explaining the process and what you need to bring and, and what is actually possible when it comes to reproducing tracks that you have attained either online or someone has produced a track for you as a demo. Um, a lot of questions we get asked quite often and I'm just going to go through that. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments. Uh, if you want me to cover any new videos, new topics, let me know. Um, I'll put something together for you. Otherwise, please follow us on Instagram, Kosher Studios, or Facebook, Kosher Recording Studios. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Here it comes. All right, guys, so get, just to get straight into it, um, a lot of artists uh, download beats or on YouTube or from <laughs> illegal places, and, and honestly, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, if you're just using those beats to get inspiration, to write your lyrics, you know, a lot of the beats are very well made. They've got a great arrangement, and they can inspire you in different ways. So we don't think there's anything wrong with it, as long as you understand that when it does come down to the time where you want to make music, or, like for money, or like release the music, uh, you got to get a producer to remake it for you, or um, or buy the rights, or get permission, you know, properly to use those those beats. Um, another example of this is maybe when. You've made something in the past and you've written a song and um, you're very happy with how it sounds, but you want the beat to be remade. Or maybe you just have not enough of a no not enough knowledge of production to make it sound professional, but you you still needed something to to work off, like a, a, a basic production to write your lyrics and write your your melodies um, that you can then bring to it. To a studio like us where we can remake the beat so today today's video i'm just going to take you through one example um of how someone can use a beat that they didn't have any intention of 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 using that beat actually like when it comes to the release but that beat that they downloaded online um illegally or without permission still played an important role in the creation of the song um, and a lot of people are quite confused or they, they, they don't understand that we're actually able to recreate a beat that it's similar enough that you're able to still sing the same lyrics and have, it will have the same vibe and same arrangement, but it will be completely different um, from a copyright infringement point of view. So this isn't, this isn't new to a lot of people, but for some people it is quite new. And I'm just going to explain that there's certain factors uh, that make up a song so the chords the tempo the arrangement um, the, the genre the style these are all things that we can hear as producers and then recreate with different instruments different sounds um, but it will still be the same feeling it will still be the same song you'd still be able to use the same melody and lyrics over the new production so none of it is wasted um, I'm just going to get straight into it. So this is an example here. Um, this over here is um, a track. It's got vocals on it because basically this was the beat that was used illegally um, with vocals recorded on it. They were vocal ideas. Um, and yeah, you can check it out. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip through the track she a little bit. Life the game. Take it to the pre. This is just something that I can't explain. This girl has chorus because I'm saying in love with the deeper and deeper each night. And every moment share with that. Okay, so straight away I can listen to the track and, and find the elements that make the track what it is. So it's the chords, it's that slow feel, it's like the the general half beat drums and a lot of filter, a lot of vibe, but not necessarily identifying any unique factors that make the beat what it is. So as a producer that's going to recreate it, the first thing that we'll do is look for what are the chord structures, um, what are the sort of sounds that give it the feeling that the artist will want. Um, so before we go too far, I'm just going to play you straight away what we what we have. So 
these are all vocals at the bottom, but if you look here, you'll find the piano sound, the pad sound, these all follow the same chords of the original track. I just held it close to my heart from that night And she's the life that gave me a chance from that night Right, so straight away you can probably say it sounds pretty similar. In fact, maybe like uh, it's borderline infringing on copyright, but like, let's take a listen again. Sound close to my heart from the night. So if you really analyze it, Sound close to my heart. Now you start to hear different sounds that actually are unique to the new production as opposed to old production. But the, f the one thing you notice, the tempo, the vibe, the style, everything is the same. Um, we then, as producers, now have an opportunity to go and make the song better or make the song suit the lyrics and suit the vocals better than what the original, hopefully, you know, hopefully we do it better. Um, so I can now take you through the chorus, for example, if I just play the old chorus and then play the new chorus. He has the old chorus. Love with a deeper and deeper no, it's like very chilled and very relaxed and I can play the, the new chorus Love with the deeper and deeper each night And every moment shall obvious The first thing you hear obviously is the drums You've got new drums, you've got a lot of things going on A little bit more energy, a little bit more upbeat The vocals are slightly clearer, that's because we recorded them afterwards But if you're just looking at the production There isn't actually... A resemblance between that and the original besides the chords and chords are not something that make up the copyright of a song the chords are chords there's a limited amount of chords every song has chords so if you are as an artist working with a producer that has given you a piece of music that you have now written a song to and you're very inspired and you like it but at a later stage you for whatever reason need a different producer to work on it this is the kind of process that we can offer you so as you can see here, it is very different, um, but it's still the same. So the vocals, the new vocals that were recorded, he had already learned them off by heart, he already knew the lyrics, he already knew the style. He was able to nail the vocals a lot quicker than you know writing something new or if we had adjusted it. If we had made it a little bit faster, a little bit slower, different key, would have been difficult for him um, to perform him, to perform the, the the same version of it. Because I'm falling in love with the deeper and deeper each night. So another thing that we can now do is because we have all the elements at our fingertips, we're able to rearrange the track. You know, maybe the original track was a bit stagnant, it was a bit slow. I'm not going to play the full track, but you get the idea. We now, as producers, have the ability to enhance it, make it a bit better, create little sections like. This is just something that I can a little bridge of it. I be with you. Got those stripes on, no, I really want you. So this kind of project can actually apply to a lot of different people. Someone might have a track that was produced years ago who want to like relook at it in a more modern way, but they want the lyrics to be the same. This is what we would do. Um, someone might have a song that they don't have access to the separates or the parts, but they want to rework it, make it a different key, make it slower, make it faster this would apply to you as well. Um, but overall, guys, I think the main thing that I'm trying to get across is there's nothing wrong with using beats that aren't yours. Download a Drake beat, download a beat from Justin Bieber, whatever it is. Um, if it's going to inspire you and help you to create great lyrics and great melody ideas, use it. It's at your fingertips. It's all there. But when it comes down to wanting to actually release a song or make money from it, take it to a, bring it to a producer, bring it to us, let us recreate the song for you so that it is original and you can actually legally make money from it instead of uh, worrying about copyright infringement um yeah i think that's about everything that i'd like to cover for now um we're not going to go into like actually production details um i hope this was informative if you guys have any questions please pop them in the in the comments below any feedback or if you want me to cover any other kind of videos please do let me know otherwise check us out on instagram coach your studios Facebook, Kosher Recording Studios, let's be in touch and uh, keep making good music.